What's going on, guys? Welcome to next week's Gold and GJ forecast. I've been super quiet this week uh, on social media, guys, because I've been recovering from this ear infection. And uh, I'm only just starting to feel better. I'm still pretty deaf um, on this side of my ear. And I've been heavily focused on optimizing the robot on the funded lab. So this week, I've done nothing but focus. I haven't even been outside <laughs> for like the full, like since um, the weekend before last, I don't think. I've just been working like a vampire. So, but anyway, let's jump on. Let's do the analysis. Start with gold, and then we'll jump on to GJ. So on the monthly time frame on gold, guys, we are still bullish. However, we did close below this resistance. If you remember on the last month's candle, and um, now we're expecting a pullback and a continuation. On the weekly, what can we see here? Now, the previous weekly high has been wicked, but price didn't close above. And that's a crazy move because we broke structure down here and then look, price retraced literally 100% of that move. So next week, I'm going to be looking for price to give us some sort of reversal in here and sells continuation. However, if we do start making structure on top of this uh, zone here, the 1960, then I will be looking to take price long, potentially up to this imbalance here. We've got to see what the lower time frames are doing first. So on the daily, um, daily we are bullish. We are the breaker structure here, daily bullish. And we've got this potential reversal pattern here, the way we closed um, on Friday. So what we could see is we could see a, a price open up, push up to you know around 1960 again. As long as these highs hold and the lows start to break, price could come down then. I'll we'll be looking then to take price you know back down to these lows for that weekly continuation that we just looked at um, here. But if price decides to break above on this daily here tomorrow and close above here, then I'm going to be looking for a retest and I'm going to be looking for buys up to that imbalance that we just looked at on the weekly. So if we jump down to the four hour, what we're looking at here, so price is consolidating. Um, again, it's pretty much the same as the daily, what we're going to be waiting for. If we get a four hour candle close up here, we're going to be looking for break and retest continuations. And again, the same on the, the four hour, you know, we've got the, we've got a four hour candle close down here. So, you know, with this four hour candle close closing below this previous low in these weeks here, I am going to be looking for price to, you know, retest this zone here. What we're looking at on the daily, you know, price is going to open up. And then we're going to be looking for those continuations on the weekly where our targets on the low time frames are going to be this imbalance here. If we break through this demand zone, um, then we will be, you know, looking for oops, further continuations down to the weekly lows. One hour. One hour, we are, again, consolidating. We can't really say we're bullish or bearish. If you look at the candles here, we are bearish because we have broken structure on the one hour. And again, look, this pullback here with this market open pullback would make for very, very nice sales. You see, a pullback into this imbalance, we're trading with structure, the candle closed down here. We're expecting a weekly continuation. Lots of nice confluence there, guys. That's what I'm going to be looking for. This is the move I'm looking for here, opening up on Monday, um, to take sales down to this demand here. And if we break through, then we're looking you know, for the weekly to continue down to the weekly lows. However, if this fakes and we break up, then you know the drill. We're looking for that one hour, one hour, four hour candle close, break and retest, boom, take it up to this imbalance on the higher time frame. So let's jump over onto GJ, guys. Monthly, monthly, monthly time frame. Let's start on the monthly here. So again, what can we see? We're expecting price, imbalance here. I haven't quite feel that imbalance, but the monthly candle close bullish. And what do we expect? A retracement on the next, um, whichever time frame candle you're looking at, whenever candle closes, um, the following candle is 90% chance to retrace. So what we're seeing here, this is a retracement on the monthly time frame um, on GJ. So if we look on the weekly, what can we see? I was hoping um, that the weekly was going to close because you see it pushed down here on Friday. I was hoping that the weekly was going to close below the because that would have set the tone for some very nice sales uh, for next week. A little retest here, you know, give us resistance. And then we're looking for straight continuations. However, because of this rejection, uh, I'm still going to be looking for retracement sales on the weekly. If we open up here, I'll be looking for maybe price to push up a little bit and sells. However, taking sales, you've got to remember that overall we are bullish, but price needs to uh, but price needs to pull back at some point. And we've got this nice imbalance down here. And again, if you remember on the higher time frames, this is just a monthly candle retracement and you see these breakouts in the time frame all the time guys and you see you know these imbalances get filled completely like this before price decides to continue so i'm expecting something like this to happen i'm expecting price to pull back maybe a little bit more before it uh, continues up but we'll have to see and just take it level by level on the lower time frames so daily here so we had a nice rejection here this was the target uh, last week if you remember we broke it down was whatever price to break through here and there uh, we got the confirmation and then price broke out very very nice Tar uh, all targets hit from you know last week's analysis so what can we see here? Again, 
price is pushing up to resistance. So we've got resistance here. And this is going to be our flip zone, essentially. So while price is under here, I'm going to be looking for continuations. Continuation sells because, again, we are bearish uh, on the daily. The last push on the daily was from here, the bullish push. And then you see um, we had impulse retracement, but this retracement broke the low. So then this becomes the new daily high and this becomes a new daily low. So while price is below here, I'm looking um, to sell. If we break above here, then I'm going to be looking to buy. And I will need a one to four hour confirmation, you know, to see that up there, to see that up there. And uh, again, I'm going to be looking for, you know, one to four hour confirmations or even down to the 30 minute confirmations for sales um, on GJ there. So let's have a look. What have we got? So again, price is sitting nicely in that flip zone. So you can see, you know, if price breaks above, it's currently using like this level here, it's rejecting from this level. However, if we break above this level, you know, we're targeting um, these highs here. Four hour, we are bullish. We have broken back bullish on the four hour. So the target now would be the daily high, which I think was there, or was it the, no, it's right at the top, isn't it? Which is here. So if we break up here, we make structure, our target to trade into is gonna be that daily high. Um, right up there. However, while we're under here, I am going to be looking for sales. So if price does open up and we don't get any candle closes above and we do get confirmation for sales, maybe a you know liquidity hunt or something, and a candle close below, then I'm going to be looking for sales. But I need to see price move from here. I'm not just going to be taking it until it's moved. It either needs to fake the high, close below, and then I'll take sales. Or it needs to just close the uh, it needs to or the candle just needs to close below here, and then I'll look to take. Uh, sells, you know, straight off the candle close um, on the next candle retracement, or if we fake the low, push to the highs, make sure again, boom, you know, take buys there. So that's it, guys. That's what I'm looking at going to next week. Got any questions? Um, post them in the comments. I just want to invite you over to Discord, guys. You can come check out the results section yourself. The link's on the website. The link is free. Um, sorry, not the, the link is obviously free, but I mean the channels are free to come look. You come check out the results here. Um, we've got the automated process for you know passing prop firm challenges. Um, even for the monthly members, you can come in. Um, I, we do all the testing into the for you. So you've got the step one, step two. It's too. A super simple process to download the robot, get the files in, and uh, just understand what's going on. Also teach you how to manage your risk. And um, we have the live trading room here, which is currently empty because it's the weekend. Nobody's in here. Everybody's living their lives. Um, we trade live five days a week. All day I'm live as well for customer service inquiries. So, you know, you're never left in the dark. If you've got questions and need answering, I'm always there. And um, apart from that, guys, we've got the Funded Lab here, which we have just launched, um, which is the next level um, product that nobody else has on the market because I hired a software engineer to build the software that we have. And uh, this is just the beginning. So if you want to automate your profile passing and uh, payouts with the power of AI, so you can generate data like this, da, 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 for example, then guys, you need to get yourself in there. This will save you thousands of hours. It'll give you a lot of clarity and um, it'll help you generate files for any prop firm. If you're in the monthly and the yearly, you're restricted to the prop firms we give you, which is my Forex phones, true Forex phones, and a few more. So that's it, guys. Hope to see you inside. If you have any questions, let me know. Apart from that, enjoy your Sunday and I'll see you next week. Bosh! <laughs>